Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a full face drugstore makeup tutorial for you guys. And to start out with, I'm using my favorite drugstore foundation, which is the L'Oreal True Match Original. And I just honestly haven't found a drugstore foundation that I like as good as this. A lot of people, um, Asked me if I've tried the uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and I have, and it really just did not give me the coverage that this one does. And despite the fact that I have dry skin, this one still sits really nicely on my skin throughout the day. Moving on to concealer, this is one of my favorite concealer combos. I use this in drugstore routines and in my high-end routines. I absolutely love these concealers. So I'm mixing the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer together, and I'm also using two different shades in the uh, fit me concealer I'm using medium and in the Maybelline uh, instant age rewind I'm using the shade brightener and it just gives me the most perfect color combination it's not too bright underneath my eyes it's not too white but it's not too dark at the same time and the brush I'm using to blend it out with is just a fluffy blush brush from bare minerals so just use any type of fluffy brush the one I'm using right here works really well it's the real techniques contour brush and to set underneath my eyes I'm using the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder, which is actually a really good powder to set underneath the eye area. It is translucent, so it doesn't add any extra color. And speaking of color, I'm moving on to a new bronzer I just picked up. So I've been using the Milani Bake Bronzer in Glow for a really long time. And um, it's just been a little bit too light for me, especially since spring is coming and I'm self-tanning more. Uh, so I wanted to pick up a darker shade in this bronzer. So I went to CVS and I got the same bronzer only in the shade called Soleil. So it's this perfect medium tone kind of um, warm red undertone bronzer and it gives your skin a healthy glow and I just absolutely love it. It's just kind of like a bump up from the original bronzer that I had. It just adds a little bit more color to my face and I absolutely love it. If you like a nice glowing bronzer I would highly recommend these Milani ones. And I did pick up a couple of extra things from Milani because I don't own Basically, I don't think I own anything from them. Uh, so I got this blush in the shade Rose Dioro, and it's just a gorgeous, luminous rose color. Moving on to my eyes, I'm taking the Coastal Sense Revealed 2 palette. And let me just say, this is very similar to the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, except it's like 10 times better. I am not even joking, you guys. The colors in here are extremely pigmented. They're buttery. Some colors are literally identical to the uh, Naked 3 palette. Uh, for example, this shade I'm using right now is really similar to uh, Tease in the Naked 3 palette, except the shades just blend a lot easier. Um, some are more pigmented some have less fallout so I would highly suggest um, this palette if you guys are looking for a nice kind of cool toned um, everyday palette and here I'm just sweeping that uh, taupey purple color back and forth into my crease and moving on I'm taking this really shimmery pink shade very similar to dust in the uh, naked 3 palette and if you guys have that palette you know that that color has a ton of fallout and it is so annoying this shade Shadow is 10 times better there's no fallout it's really creamy and it has a gorgeous finish moving on I'm taking a kind of taupey um, shimmering purple color and I'm just working that into the outer corner of my eye if you guys want to go with more of a natural look you can stop with these three colors and you can get a similar eye look as to what I am showing right now I did want to bump up the eye look just a little bit so I went in with the deep plum color in the palette and just work that into my outer crease again um, I really wanted to use that plum color because it looked super pretty not to mention it is also again very pigmented very easy to blend I just I can't say enough good things about this palette it is awesome and for my brow bone highlight I just use a standard cream color that does come in the palette and after that that is pretty much what the shades look like a very neutral everyday kind of purpley cool toned eye look and moving on I'm taking a black eye coal this one is from I think Ofra I got it in a boxy charm box which is where I got that uh, revealed two palette as well so I will list the link down below if you guys are interested in boxycharm they have a ton of awesome products in their boxes every month 
So this is the only product that I use that was not drugstore. It's my Kat Von D tattoo liner, but you guys know I cannot skip out on it because I have oily eyelids and it's literally the only one that will stay on my lids and the camera cut off so I didn't get the full shot. I'm sorry. Um, moving on to my mascara, I'm taking a random one I got in my Ipsy bag called, it's from Model Co. I don't even know the name, but I've really been liking it. Um, so just use your favorite drugstore mascara, whatever your fave is, whatever your preference is. And I just swept a little bit of extra shadow underneath my eyes and popped on some mascara underneath there. Moving on to my lips, I took the Milani Lip Liner. Um, I think this is just called Nude. It's a really pretty pinky rose nude color. I saw Alex use this in one of her videos recently, and I was like, I might as well just pick that up while I'm at the Milani station at CVS. <laughs> and for lipstick, I just used a nude Milani lipstick. Uh, very pretty, very wearable for every day. I will have the names listed down below of all of the lip products I use because I'm not familiar with Milani, and I kind of forgot the names. Uh, so that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's very spring appropriate, very feminine, and I think it's achievable for anyone. So let me know what you guys think down below and also let me know what you want to see in future videos. Bye!